This is Anthony coming to you live from the Paso Garage. What's up? Hey, Judd. Great speech today at the press conference. Good job. Well spoken. Very well delivered. It was very well scripted to whoever wrote it for you. Maybe you're listening to your uncle and, and and taking some advice to put your tail between your legs and admit when you were wrong because it's very clear and apparent how wrong you were. Love the way you avoided the whole Harbaugh situation. The questions about that. You know, you know you messed up. You know he should have been here. You know he was a Super Bowl winning coach even though he didn't win the Super Bowl. His second year here. You know how you sabotaged him And you know what the front office leaks are You know all of this So my question is You sat there and delivered a good speech You said That things were going to change You said you've been humbled Do I believe it? Or is it an act of desperation? I think you're desperate bro you're losing money. People are going to your games. People are buying your merchandise. I know you lost some hair. Look what you did to me. I got none. I got no hair. That's what you did to me. Okay? Ever since I was 10, I loved this team. And you destroyed it. And you continue to destroy it. I know you're talking to Hugh Jackson. I know there's some big names out there that are being tossed around. All is a smoke screen. And you'll probably promote Main Genie. Even though, you know, I don't know what Jackson could do. A little scared. Seems like a yes man. Seems like he's right up your alley. Someone that won't question you. You're going to give decision making to the coach. If everyone agrees, Jed. Is that what I heard? You'll humor all options. It sounds like a... Big cluster frick, if you ask me. It's the same thing you've been delivering. Although you did present it in a nicer way. Listen, bro. This is all I'm telling you. Actions speak louder than words. Let me see what you're going to do. You're going to hire a home grin? Or are you going to hire a main genie? What are you going to do? Because you know what? The proof is in the pudding. You could stand up on that podium all you want and address us all you want and fill us with all the BS you want. Just like we're going to do everything we can to re-sign Frank Gore and then get on a plane and go to Cuba and hide while he's being released. Or Jim Harbaugh and the 49ers parted ways mutually. Remember that lie? And fire him. Come on, Jed. I don't believe you as far as I could throw you. And you know what? Please, get on social media. Unblock me. You say you respect the banners being flown over your head. And you respect the, the social media uh, attacks and people being pissed off at you because we're fans. We're your customers. Unblock me, Jed. If you really respect me, unblock me. Your words don't mean crap. They're all full of shit. And I ain't going nowhere until you go down. Trust me. Listen, people. Listen, 49er faithful. Don't believe this BS smokescreen. He did it last year. And I stood here. And I told you what was going on. And I had a handful of people that were like, Oh, well, maybe this, maybe that. This is going to change. Jim Thomas will do this. Jim Thomas will do that. And I stand here with the big middle finger in your face. Because I was right. Just like... The majority of fans already see through the facade that he's putting forth, okay? And just, please, the weak-minded people, that's who he's playing against, okay? Typical politician, typical politics. Like I told you before, Jed, I ain't going nowhere until you relinquish control over the football operations and hire the right coach and bring your Uncle Eddie back to make sure he keeps you in line and gives you a little spank on the ass when you need it. Because you need it very often right now. You need it. Maybe you could learn. Maybe you will be a great CEO owner whenever you're going to be in the future. And I'm glad the Yorks aren't going to sell the team. I don't want them to sell the team. I want you to keep the team because you're good businessmen. But stick to the business side of the, the, the team. Leave the football operations alone and bring someone back like Eddie DeBartolo that knows what he's doing and let him take control. Let him find the right head coach and get rid of this idiot Trent Belke. He built what? 
What did you try to lie to people with? You better check who your last general manager was and check the personnel who he brought and who Trent Belke bought, brought because Trent didn't build crap except crap. It's all he's done. He's brought drug addicts. He's brought injury prone. He's brought the, the losers that they, they never amounted to nothing. He might have picked a couple good picks. And I do have faith in some of, some of them from last year. I'm not saying anything about it. I like Tart. I like Harold. I like Armstead. I do, okay? That might work. His punter. <laughs> I don't know. I think you should have stuck with Andy Lee on that one. Shouldn't you have, Judd? Ha! Huh? Shouldn't you have? But we don't know what these players are going to do. And we don't know what they're going to do under a leadership like you that wants to come out and lie to people and, 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 and just keep them sitting at the edge of their seat and biting their fingernails, not knowing what their futures are going to hold. I'm here to stay until you're gone. Until that day, I won't go nowhere. Pass out!